Greetings from Koshi's Hospital. As all of you are aware, the month of October is dedicated to breast cancer awareness. Let me start with a few pointers in lifestyle modifications which will help us in breast cancer prevention. Regular exercise, reducing the BMI, consuming fresh produces, avoidance of processed food, avoidance of uh, added sugar, trans fat in the diet, etc. will definitely help in prevention of not only breast cancer but also other cancers also. The recommendation is we have to have at least two, two to two and a half cups of fresh fruits and vegetables per day which I am sure none of us are able to make it but we have to in this month let us all make ourselves a promise that we will stick with this. Now, what is the role of a pediatrician in preventing breast cancer? Pediatricians can advise women to exclusively breastfeed their children till 6 months of age and continue breastfeeding after complementary feeding is started up to 1.5 to 2 years. And how does this help in preventing the breast cancer? It has been proved in research that breastfeeding will definitely help in reducing pre and postmenopausal breast cancer. And how does this happen? During breastfeeding, many women will not have the regular periods which tend to reduce the estrogen level in the body and estrogen is a known hormone which can cause uh, breast cancer. During breastfeeding, breast tissue gets shedded which will include also shedding of DNA damage potentially cancer causing cells. These are the two ways in which breastfeeding will prevent breast cancer. This year's theme is Together We Rise. Over to our expert gynecologist and radiologist for further information on breast cancer prevention and early detection. Thank you. Namaskar ma'am. My name is Pralila Aita. Namaste. Uh, breast cancer bagge Koshi's Hospital Facebook ali nodi ta. Adan na nodi as a woman nange breast cancer bagge uh, inna ashtu tilko be kanta kutu hala hoi ta. So uh, adu bagge nan atra kelvangi prashna gali ta. Adikke nu uttaras kira anta nanu bais ta dine. Breast cancer is very common in the country. Almost in the past, we have been in the past, and we have been in the the Ma'am, do breast cancer or what do you think about it? If you have breast cancer or breast cancer, you can tell me about it. First of all, you can tell me about the lump. You can tell me about the lump, 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 ಅದು <laughs> ಅವರಿಗೆ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಹೈ ರಿಸ್ಕ್ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಬರೋ ಚ
ಮತ್ತೆ ಅದಲ್ದಲೆ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಇದ್ರೆ ಜೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಮ್ಯೂಟೇಶನ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಅವರಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಕಾಮನ್ ಆಗಿ ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಇದಲ್ದಲೆ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಆ ಮಹಿಳೆ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ತುಂಬಾ ಹೆವಿ ವೆಯ್ಟ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಒಬೇಸಿಟಿ ಆಲ್ಕೊಹಾಲ್ ಅಥವಾ ಟೊಬ್ಯಾಕೋ ಅವ್ರ ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಮೇಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಕೆಲವು ಮಹಿಳೆಯರು ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬಂದು ತುಂಬಾ ಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಹೆವಿ ಆಗಿರೋ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇರೋರಲ್ಲಿ ಮೋರ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಆಗಿ ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಇದಲ್ದಲೆ ಕೆಲವ್ರಿಗೆ ಏನು ಕಾರಣ ಇಲ್ದಲೆ ಕೂಡ ಕೆಲವು ಮಹಿಳೆಯರಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಎಂಟು ಮಹಿಳೆಯರಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಮಹಿಳೆ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ಗೆ ಇವಾಗ ಒಳಗಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆನ ಶುರು ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಎಷ್ಟು ಬೇಗ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಶುರು ಮಾಡ್ತೀರೋ ಅಷ್ಟು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಪ್ರಾಗ್ನಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನಿಮ್ದು ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಇದು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನಾವು ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒಂದು ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅವೇರ್ನೆಸ್ ಅಂತ ಇರಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಹಿಳೆಗೂ ತನ್ನ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಇರಬೇಕು ಅದು ಹೇಗೆ ಕಾಣುತ್ತೆ ಹೇಗಿದೆ ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅವೇರ್ನೆಸ್ ಶಿಶುನು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಅದ್ರ ಅವ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅವ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿರಬೇಕು ಒಂದು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅವ್ರು ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಹತ್ರ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಚೆಕಪ್ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಇದು ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಥರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಏಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಅವರು ಒನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಒಂದ್ಸಲ ಬಂದು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಹತ್ರ ಚೆಕಪ್ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಏನಾದರೂ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಜಲ್ದಿನೇ ಬರ್ಬೋದು ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ಏಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಥರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಏಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತ್ರೀ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಒಂದ್ಸಲ ಬಂದು ಚೆಕಪ್ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಸೊ ತರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಇಯರ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ರೆಕಮೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಚೆಕಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಸೊ ಮುಂಚೆ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಇತ್ತು ಬಟ್ ಇವಾಗ ಅದು ನಾವು ಯಾರಿಗೂ ಅದನ್ನ ರೆಕಮೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಆಸ್ ಪರ್ ಗೈಡ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಮೆರಿಕನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ವತಃ ತನ್ನ ಸ್ಥಾನನ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದನ್ನ ಇವಾಗ ಅದನ್ನ ನಾವು ರೆಕಮೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಷಿಯನ್ ಹತ್ರ ಬಂದು ಅವರು ಚೆಕಪ್ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಈಗ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಮುಂಚೆನೆ ರಿಸ್ಕ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇತ್ತು ತಂದೆ ತಾಯಿಗೆ ಅಥವಾ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಇತ್ತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರು ಬೇಗನೆ ಬರ್ಬೇಕು ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಮತ್ತೆ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನಿಂಗ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಗಳ ಅಂತ ಇದೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಒಂದ್ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಮ್ಯಾಮೋಗ್ರಫಿ ಅಂತ ಇದೆ ಅದು ಒಂದು ಕ್ಷಕಿರಣ ಎಕ್ಸ್ರೇ ಇಂದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ರೇ ತೆಗೆಯೋದು ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ನ ಎಕ್ಸ್ರೇ ಅದು ಅದು ಒಂದು ಅದರಿಂದ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ಅದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಯೂಶಲಿ ನಲ್ವತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಆದ ನಂತರ ಶುರು ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಏಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ರೆಕಮೆಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಏಜ್ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಟು ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ವರ್ಗು ಇಯರ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ರೆಕಮೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸ್ಯಾಮೋಗ್ರಫಿ ಅಂತ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ರೇ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅದನ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅದು ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎಂ ಆರ್ ಐ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಅದು ಎಂ ಆರ್ ಐ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನಿಂಗ್ ಕೂಡ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ಸೊ ಇದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ಮಾಹಿತಿನ ನೀವು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಭಾರ್ಗವಿ ಅಂತ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ರೇಡಿಯೋಲಾಜಿಸ್ಟ್ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಕನ್ಸಲ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಏನೇ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರು ಅವ್ರು ನಿಮಗೆ ಮಾಹಿತಿ ನೀಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸ್ತನ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ನ ಹೇಗೆ ತಡೆಗಟ್ಬೋದು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಒಂದ್ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನೀವು ವೆಯ್ಟ್ ಅಪ್ರ
Okay, can you answer me a few of my questions now? Uh, sure, ma'am. I am Dr. Bhargavi, consultant radiologist at Koshi's Hospital here. Uh, the breast imaging as such includes a breast ultrasound, mammogram, which is an X-ray technique, and next is breast MRI. Of the three, breast uh, mammogram is the best modality to for the early detection of breast cancer. Though it is an X-ray technique, it is uh, very helpful to um, determine uh, the pickup masses even even before they are clinically palpable or you, you, even before you can palpate it by yourself. It is clinically visible. So it is an X-ray technique where we uh, image the breast, both the breast by having two views. And uh, we also get to know about the density of the breast uh, as uh, dense breasts tend to have um, higher risk of having a breast cancer later. So these are helpful in uh, early detection of breast cancer. Yeah, how should I know that I have dense breast or not? Basically the breast tissue is made up of uh, fatty tissue, fibroconnective tissue and the glandular component. Glandular component is where the breast, most of the breast cancers arise. It is more than even 90% arises from the glandular tissue. So as we age, the glandular components will come down and the fatty and the connective tissues will be higher. So once when we do a, a mammogram in the, at 40 years, we will know what is the density of the breast, whether the fatty tissues are more or the glandular tissues are more. The breast cancer arises from the terminal uh, ductolobular unit which from which the cancer arises so that is the glandular breast so when we do a breast can, uh, breast uh, mammogram we will give a grading of the amount of glandular tissue as a b and a b c and d d is supposedly the densest breast that is it has a maximum glandular tissue while a is considered to be completely fatty so once we give you as a dense breast c and d supposedly will have a higher amount of glandular tissue then it means that you are at risk of uh, developing breast cancer than uh, patients with A and B type of breast. So that will, that comes out only in mammogram. And mammogram is very helpful in determining the amount of glandular tissue that is present in your breast tissue. Okay, you just know, sir, that about the mammogram, I just want to know more about it and at what age I can do mammogram and what are the procedures you have to do? Mammogram is basically a, a x-ray technique, just like you get a x-ray for your chest, this is an x-ray for your breast, that's it. So what is different from the regular uh, uh, radiograph is that it is a low dose x-ray system. It, it doesn't, it gives a very minimal uh, uh, breast radiation to the uh, radiation to the breast. So in that procedure, what we do two types of views. We take a craniocaudal view and a mediolateral oblique view. So that we cover the maximum uh, breast tissue in, in both the views. And uh, in, for this procedure from your side, from the patient side, you have to preferably come in the first 10 days of your cycle. That is soon after your periods, before the mid cycle. Because that is a time the breast is considered to be less tender. The second half of the cycle, the breast tends to be more tender because of the hormonal changes. So if you are planning to get a mammogram, get it in the first week soon after your periods. So, and avoid applying any deodorants or spray or talcum powder on your breast because that can mimic a calcification in the mammogram images. So, when you are planning to get, uh, get a mammogram done, done on some day, just uh, remember only these two things. Come only on the day, on the days following your uh, menstrual cycle and avoid applying the deodorant and talcum powder. Second is, uh, during the breast mammogram, we will be compressing the breast tissue. So in, we do compression only to even out the breast tissue so that less uh, radiation dose can be given and uniformly it will be of uniform thickness so that uh, we will get a better quality images and it helps us in uh, detecting the breast cancer easier. So some women tend to feel that that compression causes severe pain and that is all I can say partly a myth but still if you avoid the tender days that is the first few days of your cycle when you come it will be less tender and it will not be as traumatic as the patients imagine. So um, uh, that is one big thing and I don't uh, want women to get scared of this pain while getting a mammogram to prevent them from coming, for, coming and getting the investigation. And um, once it is done, we usually in case of dense breast, that C and D breast, 
um, density breast, we do a screening ultrasound also to pick up smaller lesions which may otherwise be obscured by the dense glandular tissues. So the entire procedure will take only half an hour. Once it is done, we will do an ultrasound screening and immediately we will issue the report. And in the report, the only thing that you need to note down is the Bilirats category. It has been a, it is a very um, uh, standardized report where they give the uh, risk of having the malignancy from Bilirats 1 to Bilirats 6. Bilirats 1 means it is a normal breast and Bilirats 2 is just a benign finding, non-cancerous finding. Bilirats 3 is probably benign for which you have to under, you have to get a follow-up uh, either ultrasound or a mammogram as per the radiologist suggests you. Bilirats 4 and 5 are supposedly having a higher risk of malignancy. So in that case, we have to do a biopsy. We do ultrasound guided biopsies in the Koshi's hospital here. So once you get a mammogram or we give a report saying that that nodule or the lump is looking like malignant, it is going to be either Bilirats 4 or Bilirats 5, which means that there is a higher risk of malignancy, you can immediately undergo a biopsy. Biopsy will provide a pathological specimen and immediately you will know whether it is cancerous, non-cancerous. Then you can uh, make the appropriate treatment at the earliest. You need not wait, you need not delay any treatment and it will be done in the same day itself. And BIRAT 6 is proven cases of malignancy. So once you get the get your mammogram report, look for the density of the breast, whether it is A, B, C and D. C and D, be more careful. So because you are having a denser breast, you may get, you are at higher risk of uh, uh, developing breast cancer than women with A breast. And second is Bilirats category. So who should it get, get the mammogram is any woman after 40 years that is a screening annual screening mammograms that we do that is done worldwide. So from 40 years onwards you have to get an annual mammogram done. In case you are at higher risk having a positive family history the screening can be started even earlier as early as 35 years of age. So yearly mammogram you can get, you can see the density of the breast, you can also look at the Bilirats category that we give and then based on that you can take a decision. Thank you ma'am, thank you for giving so much information. I was curious more about it very early now. Uh, I got complete information about it. I would suggest to most of my friends uh, for, for the health checkup here and also for the annual mammogram. So thank you so much ma'am. You can make this mammogram along with your master health checkup when you get a yearly ultrasounds, chest x-rays and other blood tests. You can add a mammogram also, to women can add a mammogram to it so that it will cover most of the diseases and also helps you to get a early detection of breast cancer. Yeah, thank you so much ma'am. Thank you. Hi ma'am, myself Pravina. Yesterday I consulted Dr. Kamishri and also Dr. Bhargavi Venkar. And uh, I came to know the importance of the breast cancer around the screen. And I got the more information about it and also the importance of the mammogram. So uh, I came, today I came with my aunt uh, to see more about the mammogram and uh, how does it look and also procedure involved. Can you explain me more about it? Yeah, sure. Actually, uh, myself, Pneka, uh, and this mammogram here, and this is the mammogram unit. Actually, mammogram uh, uses X-rays to diagnose female breast for further evaluation and screening. Uh, okay. Uh, the patient will be sat in this side. Okay. Uh, if the patient has any symptoms regarding this, she should be with more than 40 years. Screening mammogram should not be done for a patient below than 40 years. Okay. And mammography is useful for the detection of breast cancer. Early detection of breast cancer, mammogram is the main, like most of you use mammography only. And it will take approximately like uh, 15 minutes to do the whole procedure. And uh, uh, the patient will be standing this side uh, with the with open sleeve. And the breast will be placed here. And this is the compression period where the breast should be, be compressed. Okay, the patient will be standing here and the breast will be compressed. Some patient it will be like discomfort because obviously the breast will be. But whatsoever, uh, like most of the compression, like good compression will get good quality of mammogram images. Okay, and uh, by doing mammogram, the patient should be prepared. Like uh, the patient should not wear talcum powder or any deodorant under the arms or like anything. When the patient should inform the radiologist or inform me about her period timing, okay, and the patient should not be pregnant, obviously, because oh. it's radiation, because it's radiation. 
and yeah, the whole procedure will take only 15 minutes and uh, after doing mammogram, uh, this will be the film. Okay. okay, this will be the film. This will be the name, name slide. Uh, this is the both breast. There will be two projections for each breast. Okay. One will be craniacodal and one will be medial lateral oblique. Hmm? Where we focus the pectoralis region. And uh, you will get the film immediately after the procedure. And I will send this film to the radiologist and she will give the report. Okay. okay. Um, I have heard one of my friends that also have read somewhere. Uh, and it is very painful. Is it very painful? No, 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 not at all. It is not like that much painful. But you will feel the pressure. That's it. Because obviously our breast will be in between these two. Oh, so we will no. get the pressure only. That is nothing related to our internal. Nothing, nothing will happen with this compression pressure. Oh, but yeah, good compression, we will get good quality images. Like maximum compression, you will get good quality of images. Okay, if I have a pain mammogram with my arm, so when will you get the report, ma'am? Uh, you will get the report after the procedure only. Like you will get the film after the procedure and I will send the film to the radiologist and immediately you will get the report. Yeah, okay. Thank you for informing so much, ma'am. Oh, okay, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. The mammogram's timings will be Monday to Saturday, 8 o'clock to 2 p.m.